I am going to do one more last thing I'm going to do in respect to the watch sale, uh, which I demonstrated to you. Prince Charles was trying to make through Westphalia watch. You're going to have to, I will refer to you to this issue here. Cool. This videos. To this to this and to this videos here this is continuation it's i want to add video record live more of the stuff that went on i don't think it's going to be the last one about the watches and psychiatry involved in it but i will use this opportunity this this watch sale through aliexpress to add more words to this we'll testify for more stuff that went on the original factory where this manufacturing where they manufactured this movements which is now sold under the smile there is like many many different brands that do basically the same sell under same same watches in different colors and so on so basically they assemble them in china but really the movements are really, really made in Japan. From what I remember, from what I was told, it was uh, did not belong to Miyota, but was some private company in Japan. If it's true this or not true, I have no idea. I cannot say this, and I was also told sometimes in 2003 that company was sold. The transaction has been made. And it might have been sold to Miyota that the company went that it was very bad situation Miyota I hope you understand is Casio and therefore they had to sell the company there's some kind of brothers I remember there were few of these companies three companies like this and some even when something like bankrupt or something like this they talked about so the movements really are Japanese. They really are Japan-made movements inside. The engines, little motors inside, they really make them in Japan. And I think actually even by Casio, by Miyota, it could be, it could be. I was inside and there who knows how many times. There was no greater disappointment for me, none greater disappointment for me from being brought to the locations like this, trusted something, see something that i felt like i would suggest like it made me feel like it was a secret that japanese royals shared with me literally uh i really felt uh, privileged to be in 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 uh in such locations around the world and find myself but you know sooner than later believe it or not crazy as it might sound in some cases they even insisted that i would only be the one who would know for this they, you know, they refer to them as they. Uh, they, meaning the psychiatrists, uh, cops, uh, politicians here from Slovenia, uh, police, that's espionage, apparently from Moscow, and for the Belgrade, for the Serbs, would never find out about it. And it was no greater disappointment when I found myself next to the people like this acting like uh, my owners inside of those companies literally is <laughs> asking me if what am i going to remember if i will remember and so on stupid shit what you see right there is a model that psychiatrist peter kapsch insisted he is a, such an expert is a such a such an expert that if I would purchase one of this, either one like this, he claimed that what you see the blue and yellow stuff inside and different colors, different spots in it, that those are a psychiatric pills. That's what he claimed to me during MK Ultra. Very very abstract, but he claimed that he is a such an expert on the watches that as soon as he look at a watch from someone he immediately know what kind of personality he is dealing with 
this is a maniac I have discussed about in this two posts here I posted about this maniac that you can see over there behind King Charles and um, it's really really important for me to stress the issues that he alone was fighting with struggling with during what government demanded for me to refer to as MQ Ultra which is nothing other than drug one up and torture one perform one bestial torture through the sleep deprivation uh, demand for one to see himself literally in a suffering done to one by the psychiatry <laughs> and I think I was detailed about the psychiatric pills they would give me that literally I believe literally asked mother to tie me to the bed actually I demanded from my parents and it was the first release from the psychiatric hospital in 2013 to immediately take me back I was so mistreated in 2012 locked in a closed psychiatric department like a very dangerous patient without giving absolutely any kind of signs of aggressions so that psychiatric staff did not even understand why the fuck I was there too bad I did not have no phone I could record with something that I could help myself to record this stuff uh, mistreated without the toothpaste for entire three months without the haircut for entire I don't know eight months or something like this like a wild animal basically inside of the closed department locked inside of the closed department for about uh, where other people were just for one week up to two weeks I was locked in there for about I don't know over two months and it could be even I have no idea maybe even four months I would say and then another I don't know how many months on another closed department that it totaled I think like 10 months or something like this before I would be released into the open department inside of the psychiatric hospital like people go fucking do military it was like each hospitalization for me it's a fucking lunacy fucking lunacy man people hate to go to the military because they want to waste time I served the fucking military then I had to serve the fucking psychiatric stuff basically for doing my duty to my homeland to my country to pain what politicians demanded from me to fail so they could portray me in a different light because this is what they do so you see right there this is what psychiatrist cops demanded from me to see as a psychiatric pills and he stated if you're going to buy anything like this it's going to be the sign that something is wrong with me and why did he why he would why would he do this stuff because i insisted one that i do like this watch so anything that i like this he would ask me thousand times at least if there is a watch that I, that I still like because it was clearly that this beast was doing all he possibly could to traumatize me with appearance of this watch he was just traumatizing me and I believe he also had he also had another watch it's not that I believe he had some kind of watches that were idiotic that had a diameter of 10 centimeters and they were probably deep like three four centimeters or something like that like you would put the fucking clock on the hand and he would terrorize me also with that watch that was also one of the watches that he would use along the on a Kirka river he would use one he would use one outside but what is what you need to understand about this watch is why I record this stuff right for instance this is model 8008 little bit about the sale as the owner of this company told me the sale is done like this I don't know director or whatever it is it doesn't matter there are like uh, three of them the sale is done like this that the first what they do is they put this on sale for 575 they did then what they did was they increased this to uh, six uh, and I don't know how much more than what you see right there more than 655 
maybe I don't know. I have no idea. Something like this, right? It's six. I don't know how much. Then what they do is they reduce the cost a little bit, and then what they do is they end. So the first part about the sale as owner of the company, director, whatever, told me is designed to sell as many as you can quickly. Once you secure the numbers that you want to get rid of it, you increase the price so that uh, whatever is left out there so that people still purchase. And then it's the end of the sale. That's all there is to it. Um, so what I need to finish about this model is explaining you what happened here with this stuff here because I don't think I did a good job still. I think that's still missing here. So I want to make sure that you understand absolutely everything, all the background about it. It's quite interesting stuff. So you have these guys here. Did you are you gonna see this here? You have seen this guy here. And um, if I would not explain the issues behind this stuff, I would be I would sound insane actually. Really, I would. This guy, he had to complain. Literally. He had to complain about all sorts of issues involving me. Because it was the only way, the only way he could do it, just like everyone else involved in it. He would, he was more stuff this guy trusted me. There was more stuff about him. Hello and welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Great to have you here. Well, all right. This is not the so, same guy, but this one was also involved in it. So um, I'm just going to close this here. And what we're going to do is gonna do this and this. Yeah, actually, now I got familiarized with this stuff. I'm going to see this here. Only over here. This one here. And I'm going to go and do this. So that I see this, 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 this. And uh, do I see budget watch reviews is the name of this here? Let me see that. What this guy trusted me was that, and I this is true, I can confirm because I watched this. I, I was watching this kind of stuff, and it was many all other sellers. I'm going to show you another one I'm going to show you. Hello and welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Boy, this is again the same person. All right. So what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm going to put the psychiatric watch here on the list of watches that I actually like. And I will move down to, to this one here because this was the review that Another man did it. Then I'm going to do the review of the watch which Kate Middleton personally insisted me that I should purchase. This already I have partially did review for that watch, but I couldn't find one at the time. But I did partially already review that watch that Kate Middleton wanted me to purchase. And it's really, really, really rather embarrassing so much that, that it's just, it's incredible how embarrassing that is. I would be really, really embarrassed if I would, uh, that I would dare to, to, to say to somebody, somebody like myself, something like this, I wouldn't dare. UK currency. And All right, this my brand friend brand here trusted me one thing about these watches. Now you can look at this. All right, if I'm not going to buy, I'm going to make a good commercial for these guys here. Or, you know, it just looks luxury as well. Easy to wear, and it has a very... He trusted uh, me one thing about this stuff here. Secure strap as well. He trusted me. He said to me, you know what he said to me? He said to me, do you know how difficult it is to get these watches, he said? And I didn't understand what the fuck he's talking about, you know. He said to me, do you know how difficult it is to get these watches, he said to me. Because I said, I didn't understand what this shit was all about, really. What, what is it so many people around the world 
pointing me this kind of watches and I didn't understand any of it. What the fuck? I said, do you guys want? And I didn't understand. And if I would not go over and to Russia, I would still not understand. So the year that, that this watch, he showed me this watch here that you see, the year must have been probably, I assume, <sighs> trying to make his educated assumption as much as possible. This was already back, prop this was like a first one, like um, his kind, the first one that he had, basically, like this. He was so fucking happy about this stuff here. The year must have been the same thing. It must have been also sometimes like in 2011, something like that. 2011, can you fucking imagine that? If you go and you look at that model, I think they released this in 2023 or something like that. Yeah. So I told you that they were using uh, models that they were using uh, that they were using like samples. You understand samples? Samples. Right? He said to me, "Do you know how it is difficult to get the watch like this?" Yeah. So now, even if you're a watch manufacturer, you love to listen to this program. And um, you know what happened? He had a good reason for it. They were going to give him this watch so that he could make exclusive commercial on it. And you're not going to fuck YouTube. You're not going to fuck the algorithm from the YouTube. You're not going to fuck artificial intelligence from YouTube that is based on a royal matrix. The one that would get him this watch was none other than British royals. This clowns here that I demonstrated you, and that big, big clown that was into the watches like this also, that was making himself like a big shot Next to the Charles was his brother. It was his brother, Andrew. Andrew was into the watches. He was completely insane about watches. He would sell on the side. This, this is so embarrassing, actually. When I think about these royal people that advertised me uh, Seiko automatic watches, all kinds of watches like this that were not even expensive watches. You're talking about the watch, maybe, like a hundred dollar watch and it was like a fucking Rolex or something like that. Like I told him really, I told him the watch costed like, I don't know. I really liked the watch. It was like a Seiko automatic and I don't know what was it, how much the cost was like, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe 200 bucks or something like that. And I said, I told him, I said, Andrew, you know, I had him enough of it, man, because he was like a fly. Basically he was so, all the time, all this, you know, I, I watched that watch, you know, I started to fucking like when I said, listen, Andrew, I want this Seiko automatic watch. And uh, it was like, I knew that they went like for like $200 or whatever it was. Like the year was like, I don't know, we were like on some island, some, some uh, exotic place in, I don't know, Caribbean or who the fuck knows, maybe... In Asia, some Singapore beautiful place. I have no idea where. And, uh, you know, I, I got him really, really enough of it. You know, I was watching this this watch and uh, I really like it. So I said, uh, I said, Andrew, I said, let, let me have one of this, please. Uh, you, you know what? I told him, I want this watch like this. Basically, I told him like this because I didn't even say please uh, because because these people owed so much fucking money for the stuff that went on. That is impossible to describe, the stuff I did for these people. And there was a fucking watch for $200 and in the hands of these people like this. And that shouldn't be a big problem for the people like that. And you think I got it? No. It was like... Uh, like, 
they try, okay? They, at least they try to make me feel like a shit. Like, there was no comment. They would never, never comment. They would never expose themselves into any, absolutely any kind of argument or anything like this. The only thing that followed me up was a severe torture that went on. That's all there was, okay? So, but here's the deal. Just as this guy was saying to me, he said to me, you have no idea how difficult it is to get these watches. Therefore, watch samples. Do you understand? Watch sample is different than when you manufacture them when they come from assembly line. That's a totally different issue. This is a sample. He said, you have no idea. And it, look at this guy. This, this is a fucking YouTuber. This guy is a YouTuber. This is not a manufacturer or anything like this. This is just a YouTuber, uh, a guy that uh, sells the stuff on a, through, the, through the YouTube, and he does a very good job. Uh, eventually, for the people, he does the business. That's basically, you know, I don't know what the fuck is this here, 71 views and stuff. It's like a fucking low, low numbers, really no low, crazy low numbers. He's got more over there, three something thousand, whatever. Um, he does a really good reviews. He does a good reviews. He he did his best to 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 hide really the thickness of the watch and stuff like this, and was trying to relate himself to the people. Uh, just a really nice guy, you know. Uh, he is targeting certain uh, clientele, certain people, which is actually the people I think that he represents that are the biggest buyers of this watch. He is actually targeting like majority so i don't know he does he has a good good um he has a good uh i would say he does a good job and he does his stuff and so on um he did have um he did have like a little arguments with the royals and stuff like that there was stuff like that that went on um um And um, they display the point I'm trying to make here is something completely, completely different. The point I'm trying to make is that the same way, exactly identical, what I'm talking to you right now was the issue with a Chinese manufacturers of this watch, of this types of watch. Okay. Uh, before they would release the watch, and it was not only with the Chinese manufacturers, it was also the problem, the problem, yes, the problem, that British royals have, uh, at least in front of me, managed to uh, cope with, to uh, accept challenge on behalf of Japanese, Casio, and Seiko, and Citizen manufacturing companies, which are like fucking super giants. So what is what am I talking about? Okay, that's interesting. That's why I said, well, that's why I mentioned earlier that it's going to get interesting. Even if you're a manufacturer or something like that, that, that I'm going to give you some secrets here about this stuff that that will be interesting for you whether you like to listen to this maybe you don't whatever might be the case this are a different models of the watches uh, basically i learned from uh nurse yanko who was all obsessed with this uh, i learned from him that in fact uh The watch hands, in fact, can be switched from one watch to another. Yes, they did this stuff. They started to play with this stuff. And um, like if I go, let's say, I'm going to say to this watch here, uh, they would disintegrate the watch. And uh, then they would demonstrate me what the watch is like and so on and so forth. And it became evident that. I think that what you see right there, that what is that 
even the stuff that you see like yellow, this what is referred to as a markers uh, remains, I think, on the uh, as a part of the watch. It's like plastic, and it is the bottom. This bottom, basically, we see the numbers and the stuff that comes out together with the watch hands, so that you can, if you buy different watches, right, even different models, uh, you can switch. If it's the same size, you can switch. You can basically switch the. Um, not only in some cases you can switch the. Um, in many cases, I think in most of the cases you can actually switch the the movements which are attached to uh, to the dial. It's called dial digital display. If you like digital quartz display, it's called dial. Uh, and so you can do that kind of stuff. And also you can switch. You can absolutely, absolutely, you can switch hands. What the hands are on this watch, you can you can take them from that watch or another watch, and can put on this one, or you can take from this one and you can put on another one. This type of watch, which is for the manufacturers and stuff, nothing new. But what I was going to say to you is, but it gets interesting when I recall this shit is that, and this goes back, back, back. Uh, we're talking about 2000, year 2000, 2001, and, and, and Slovenian police and psychiatrists and stuff don't even fucking know about this stuff. I watched this stuff already earlier, but they did not know about this stuff, but I did. I understood when they were meeting us and talk about this stuff uh, with manufacturers talking about the British Royals and stuff. They would, it would be a big fucking negotiation. And here you're talking about, as I stated, not uh, this brand here, Smile, but you're talking about Casio. It's quite big, isn't it? This is a big fucking company. You know, Seiko. You're talking about big fucking companies, citizen, big companies, Japanese companies. Can you imagine asking for a favor, British royals, to get them the technology, to get them a the technology? They were ready to fucking do anything. They would fucking kill anybody to get that technology. And it's the technology, literally, they got it through British royals. This is why the British Royals are so mighty in Japan. That's why they are so fucking important in Japan. They are the most important people in Japan because it's a watch industry, Japanese watch industry that totally, totally relied on British on espionage, on the British Royal espionage. In fact, listen to this stuff. This is going to shock the fuck out of you. You're not going to know anything about this stuff. The Japanese industry literally, literally shut down German and Swiss manufacturing industry. European watch manufacturing industry with becoming addicted to the MK Ultra case is what I'm trying to say. Any fucking technology that would be used, stuff that they would use, Germans or Swiss or whatever, it would find its way through these people on into the labs, into the into the science, whatever engineering hub in Japan. And the only thing that would happen is they would start to manufacture. So there was a big fucking question. These people challenged me. Oh. It was also people from Hollywood. They were asking me, Bobby, Bobby, where where do you see that watch? What the fuck are you talking about? You said the, the watch was like this and the watch was like that. They were. They were like this. The thing is that German and Austrian and Swiss manufacturers, when they would come to Austria and so on and when they would see those watches, the only thing they would do is they would, like this, and they would fucking sweat them from the shelves before 
maybe even I would come to the window from the watch how do you say in German is a wacht machen no um Urmacher Urmacher wacht machen I don't know yeah and so they would fucking have the watches disappear and you would have these clowns from Hollywood they would become like a little spice looking around because they wanted to manufacture in China and so the only thing they would do is what they would fucking go anything I have and go over everything a lot of stuff was stolen too and anything they would find anything that would be of interest that they would want to start with the through the investments through China for with basically free factories over there in China it, it would it would just the only thing that would happen is you would just find a way basically literally through Japan Royals you want want this 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 and this and the next thing you see is check out boom and technology start it departs to uh, Japan and all of a sudden ding made in Japan da, 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 da. and before you know stunts machine boom 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 made in China ready for you for the fraction of the cost that you otherwise would pay so the Germans Swiss Austrians everything across the Europe it was just opening it was just like a fucking renaissance in 1990 or through the certain Japanese watches were like incredible Casio uh, I don't know Cosmo watch and all kinds of watches that they, they, they would literally simulate planets movements and, and high tide low tide and moon phase and stuff like this electronic digital nobody could do stuff like this however really there were watches like the one I'm demonstrating right there that uh, I do believe that Japanese borrowed that one. So there were other watches too that did not exist anywhere in the market. And literally, I see uh, that appeared again on uh, AliExpress on the market through the China, literally. Um, it was all kinds of stuff that went on in 90s early 90s late 80s and the only thing is when this shit started if whoever had certain kind of technology and shit the, the only thing they did was when they really learned that that is just a different kind of industry that you you do a watch for i don't know how much money that is outstanding watch you know germans were selling the fucking watches for like four five hundred six hundred seven hundred dollar was just uh price for the fucking watch you know really good looking top of the line but still uh, a lot of money when compared to the Japanese Japanese will do that for fraction of the cost you know two hundred dollars or something like that and the price of going down it was a price war and then you have China coming actually Japan through the China oh that was actually did not look good for anybody so what the Swiss and everybody germans everybody what they did was they did the same thing like a hollywood clowns uh actually they just they would just get mechanisms uh from china uh, they would purchase them uh, from china uh, another thing is uh, china started to develop their own mechanisms incredible mechanisms in technology rather than you would go and expose yourself to the British royals because the only thing you would be is you know what I mean and ciao mare your company caputo finished the only, what they would do is instead of waiting they started to manufacture ETA mechanisms Swiss mechanisms they they just like a Japanese they they pack up their luggage they boarded the planes and they went instead to manufacture also to China because it was so such a machinery and everything that was disposable for a fraction of the cost that you would pay for workers in Europe uh, and uh, 
uh, Chinese are really, really advanced in engineering. They were, they were really, really picking up things quickly. It was not difficult to train the workforce. A uh, real expert on that deal. Um, British Royal started to manufacture heavily in China. Uh, and so this is basically the world that entangled around me. So when I tell you that it was like really like a little factory, like a little car assembly line that was of the people that, that were involved in, in, you know, in this, in this case, I'm not lying to you. Uh, all these companies such as, you know, I told you, all the companies, everything. Everything, Omega, uh, absolutely everything. Longinus, uh, Breitling, I don't know, Rolex, whatever. All the companies everywhere, all the manufacturing facilities, absolutely everything. They had me all over the place watching this stuff because of, it's called industrial espionage. Um, So you learn two things right now. You learn about that the watch samples were released ahead of official release. People have them 12 years more, even earlier than 12 years ahead, ahead of the release before they would release them. And it was also like this, I have to tell you, that whenever it would be uh, that manufacturers would have a problem and I'm not actually even I I cannot only restrain myself to saying that it was a theft from the watch companies it could be also there was some science engineering maybe university related who knows fuck what that British royals have employed a workforce in United States or in Britain or in France or in Germany God fucking knows where to solve certain issues for them electronic wise and then they just so they would like favor you know like for a favor bloody favor like this satisfy basically the needs of their allies uh, in this case let's say from japan it's not bad because japan is so technologically advanced that you would very very difficulty you know one time i told paul let's hey i said you know why don't you go and start to manufacture you know, the watches, why don't you start to, to do the, the, because they told me, you know, it was all kinds of stuff, you know, Pollocks are really funny people, you know, it's really funny shit, you know, it's like, uh, don't buy, you know, these cheap watches, uh, you know, cheap Misric or cheap Benjish Dow, you know, give a cheap watch to the children and uh, you know, if I was a child, I would kick your ass, you know, from somebody like you, I would expect, you know, a, a decent watch so that I would keep and I could have a lifetime and show up and so on. Uh, actually, the watches that you have seen right there are actually made in Japan watches, a Japanese quality at least. And there is another thing I'm going to say to you. Uh, Japanese had a big fucking problem in China on a watch market, in a watch business. Big fucking problem. I can tell you that Chinese started to match the quality of the Japanese. It was very, very long time that it looked like with the Chinese royals, with the Chinese emperors, uh, if you like to, with the Japanese emperors that I would visit China. And uh, they said that they will never be capable to do the stuff like this that this is only made in Japan, that the only Japan doesn't start like this. Man, it took Japanese, it took Chinese probably. This is a, such a fucking industry. This is such a Mount Everest of industry in China that you people have no fucking idea what you're talking about. You have no fucking idea what you're talking about. When I st see this, this is garbage. The United States of America doesn't have any kind of capacity to, to manufacture the stuff the way China does. Do you know what? They made just as fucking good stuff. I remember one time I would come and it knocked the socks out of Japanese royals when they saw what the fuck they saw with their own eyes. 
from machines to the pieces that were flying, that, that they started to manufacture their stuff on their made in China. You have no fucking idea when you say China, just like this China. China could already manufacture watches that, uh, this is like, it's all in agreement, the stuff that you see, because if it wouldn't be in agreement, you would already have totally different, everything you would have, all kinds of stuff that, that uh, you know. So what I'm trying to say is something else. That's interesting. Uh, not only, if I repeat, yeah, not only would the YouTubers get, obviously, they would they would entitle them to these types of reviews of certain products based on the Google algorithm search, YouTube, so kinds of stuff that went on. Yeah. Uh, for those of you that don't have the money to buy yourself or that you have a small risk like I have, uh, just uh, what you do is you take, you take the watch and you fill one with the oil uh, you can use, well, even olive oil, they say, uh, but otherwise the procedure is known as a hydro mode, as a hydro mode. And you can, um, you get some silicone oil. It's got to be certain degree, like rating of fluid, fluid. I don't know how you would say that in English language, like uh, flow, flowing flow, you know, viscosity, yes. Viscosity to the certain, like, I think, like more than 20, something between. 20 and something like that and uh, you can feel the watch as long as it's uh, water resistant like 30 meters at least it should hold you that oil inside and then you can go and you can swim in the water with it it's not going to break you uh, quartz and digital but uh, you know the point here is that these watches that chinese have made uh, in made in china very, very often have exceeded the quality of, uh, like if a G-Shock, like the watches that demonstrated, they exceeded the quality of a made in Japan, uh, even despite being uh, what they ridiculed, like a plastic glass and stuff like this. Yes, but, uh, you know, the watch that had 200 meters water resistance, it was rated as a 200 water meters of water resistance and I also know because I used to sell watches in Miami and it was Casio watch and you know I saw it uh, to practically to a diver you know he wanted to have a watch that have water resistance 200 meters and it just dived down to about I don't know 90 meters or whatever he, that's at least what he said or whatever and he verified with others it was always the same shit those had Casio watches did not hold as exact the depth, the water resistance as the made in China watches did. Made in China watches say 50 meters, but those 50 meters, if you go on the YouTube, you're going to see it's almost equivalent to 200 meter water resistance of the watches that Casio at least used to advertise. Now, once the Chinese started to do the stuff to manufacture stuff like this japanese went ahead and improved the quality it is true everything i'm saying to you is true it's true i'm telling you from the first hand i i'm telling the truth so better than to close the company down is just to take a suitcase and travel from Switzerland, Germany to uh, to uh, China and basically manufacture your own movement just like Japanese did uh, so that you can stay alive, so you survive, uh, you don't practically go belly up, yes. <laughs> Everybody does it. Uh, this here is uh, what I partially did describe in a part one of this video here you know um in this one here you know what 
watch business is also being used for when I suggested that people are driven insane and I suggested you how <laughs> I with the British Royals uh, I would go to uh, you know I was hijacked to Britain to London and they would take me to some fucking company you know travel over there with a the Bentley whatever uh, a lot of money worth car I don't know how much they go for whatever park in front of the company and go inside and this and that and find one technologue you know somebody that is in charge of several people I don't know maybe a shift leader or whatever to fucking pose me with a watch like this here We are talking here about sometimes the year, you know, at least it was 2000 exactly and 12. 2012. You understand? When I said 2012, yes? This is what I was thought is going to be a lot of resistance by, by, um, it's going to be a lot of resistance by the watch people. The watch industry, the watch industry is probably the most corrupt industry, probably is what I think. So I the worst I think is like the watch industry. That's what I think. I don't know. I shouldn't even say that. But I, some people that were inside, and based on the stuff that I talk about, I would be surprised that it would be like, it would not be easy for, you know, big companies like right now I mentioned to come out clean about the stuff like this. But who knows then again? So... The watches you see right there, 2012, um, going inside with the Royals, and fucking pointing at some guy that this is a good watch. There's nothing wrong with it. This is actually really my taste. It's really my kind of watch. Really, I I don't mind the watch like this. You know, uh, good looking watch. I always went for blue. Um, I am going to go ahead, I'm going to take this here, this is a screenshot, I'm going to go over this one, I'm going to go this, I don't have to explain to you that this was not the watch, it was released in 2012, I'm sure you understand that, because I did point it out in this video here, what this watch is precisely what used for, right, under this title here, I have explained nicely that um, sometimes in 2000 and 17 2018 no 2000 and 2018 2018 psychiatrist peter kapsu come out and started to death threaten me by saying to me showing me the watches the last time and suggesting me that all the watches that i have seen such watches that have been on sale now that it aliexpress like a like a new arrivals, like a new, newly released watch and stuff like this, that they never existed. That if I'm going to say that I'll be listed as a schizophrenic and stuff like this, which I already was in 2012, without even having the right to the second opinion from psychiatrist, with what I pointed out in this very video, were literally a state attorneys uh, that state have provided for me uh, in my defense who however have filed even bigger charges with uh, against me by basically suggesting the charges that were nowhere filed against me even by the prosecutors so this is like the, the most fucking fucking fantastic shit that anybody have managed to witness that actually really took place just that little have British royals understood that I will be capable to point the finger straight at them. And I couldn't, as much as whatever I would do, nobody in the world possibly could do better than I did in this video. After pointing out that it was actually British royals that had arguments with one another. and have rated Prince Charles as insane, giving him the opportunity to, through the use of physical torture, it was really bestiality, even greater physical torture, give him a chance to prove them 
that I'm insane. And this is the stuff that was used to throw me into the psychiatric hospital in 2012. A Kazi war, you know, a justified psychiatric hospitalization, yeah? The justified war between me and King, now it's King Charles, he used to be King Charles, yes. The justified, it's a justified, except that I was fighting back, back drugged up while tortured, and uh, he didn't have to prove anything to anybody. <laughs> How funny. <laughs> really, really, uh, Duhoviti, uh, very, very charmed, very, very talented, uh, fun in a very, very, like, very humoristic way, people, these British royals, indeed. When I say psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, that's a Prince Charles, King Charles now. I briefly have lost contact with the stuff I was explaining to you about. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to go to the same trail, but this watch here, um, psychiatrist, yeah, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch go back on the same trail in system in 2018 that anything I'm going to say about the watches that, the spirit, that I have seen the murder is going to be paranoid, schizophrenic. Paranoid schizophrenic. That is the stuff that I covered in that video, all in that video right there that I demonstrated you. Yeah. So this watch 2012. Charles demanded from me to tell him what I think is wrong and started to convince me that it's nothing wrong, that it's cheap, that because it costs twenty dollars. There's, however, is nothing wrong with it, and so on and so forth. Uh, and then I find myself uh, with a similar watch that also in the Thailandia, in the Thailand, in the land of Thailand. Same shit. The same shit, the same kind of stuff. The same kind of stuff, you're fucking disgraceful. <laughs> uh, how fucked up do you have to be to have so much money and do the stuff like this to a person that you are, you took you have stolen him entire life from one destroy him entire life and uh, you go and you just out there basically to fucking kill him the last thing you can take from him is completely destroy his health it wasn't enough damage but you want to totally kill the person Completely, like uh, mentally and physically, same shit at the same time. Two thousand and twelve. I'm gonna demonstrate your model. Same shit, the same thing. That is a model that has over two of these windows. So we said I'm going to show you how this with the Kate Middleton went and stuff like that, right? How they, but they, every one of these criminals wanted to be uh, sympathetic with me. Yeah, every criminal, when you get him for the, when you grab him for the throat, becomes a sympathetic. The bigger the crime, the more the sympathetic the criminal will be. And the more that these criminals realized are not going to be capable to just kill me without a trace, the more sympathetic they will be coming. Hey, listen, I don't... Uh, aha, okay. Okay. Luckily, I remember this brand where you do this. This one goes to Thailand. In 2011. 2011 goes to the Thai king, Maha Vairalinga Korn. He also does manufacturing. He also does business with uh, AliExpress and etc. etc.
Okay, the watch was similar to this one, but it was not. The watch was... You're gonna see how I'm gonna fuck you now. It's, it really is good to, to watch this stuff, so... Um, basically, this is the way it works. When I said, you're gonna see how I'm gonna fuck you now, I mentioned the police officers basically involved in it. The criminals, investigators. You think, you think it's difficult to prove this shit that I thought? It's easy like a fucking cake. This is the watch that was in hands of a Thai king, Maha Vairalinga Korn. This guy here, this dude, he started to pose with me. Even before he started to pose with me, it was Slovenian police who started to pose with to me with his watch. About maybe six months earlier, also probably in 2011, maybe even at the end of 2010. So what do you think, you guys that were involved in this shit? How is my memory better than yours? Me drugged up with better memory than your fucking memory. That's how good it is. So what I stated to you is up to the last micromillimeter exact, the dates. And it started to fuck with me with this stuff here. And you remember when I told you in these videos earlier, in these videos here, I went ahead and I point out, no, 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 this one here, let me see this. Let's make sure this one here. I explained to you how the Slovenian police was pissed off and agitated with me. Uh, at least this is how they acted. Started to even complain that they they are full of me. They can't see me no more because it was the Chinese that would keep coming to the city of the Novo Mesto and uh, claimed even that they started to harass them because uh, they wouldn't wear a watch that Chinese would give them. Chinese would give them free watches like this. They were not the only one. They gave the free samples to everybody involved in MK Ultra. Uh, and for the difference of these criminals employed by the Novo Mesto police station who wear police badges, yes, in a little bit, I'm going to give you the difference. Yeah, But the Slovenian police complained that they were big and clumsy watches that you see right there. And they don't want to wear them and so on. You know, this is like a thriller, but this is based on real facts. For the, for the difference of them, you understand? For the difference of them, and what also became a case with this model watch and with this model watch, Slovenian police, for the difference of their claims, became obsessed with these two watches and they wanted to wear these watches at all the costs and they claimed that they owned these watches that these are the watches they wear and so on these watches for the difference of them much 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 more honest for instance was this guy here let me demonstrate you this guy here this is my friend from Brazil. Amigo, amigo de Brasil. Brasileiro. Vamos a ver este. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to push you here just in a little hold. Now, what I would do is I would do this here, and I'm going to click on this here. It says, Relogio, 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 Relogio de meu amigo do Brasil. He was exactly the same. He was just as honest as the guy that I demonstrated you earlier. The same thing. A totally, totally, totally identical. 
This is really a thriller, isn't it? Identical as this person here. Exactly, exactly identical as this person here. Look at it. Hello and welcome to the channel. No, this is also British, but this one here also has a British. Alarm clock built into this. He's British. He a also is in British. Shows you the... All right, so this is how it looks when you're wearing it. It looks very stylish. Goes yeah, he does have a well British accent. With anything, any kind of clothing, casual clothing. I think it's a very nice watch. I think it fits in very good. Uh, so here, this is the thing, the same thing. He too was honest with me. He too was so kind with me so that he would trust me. And you know what he said? He said to me, he said, well, he said, Bobby, Bobby, he said to me, I am losing my fucking mind because of you, he said. I'm losing mine, I'm going crazy. I said, I said, what the fuck are you talking about? This is not the watch. Mel Amigo. The John Gista. Surelo. Aha, uh -huh, okay, all right, very good. Nice, I see it. Uh, let's see this here. Reluginio. Gijon de esta Reluginio. Fala pessoal, como é que vocês estão aí? Tudo na paz, galerinha? Galerinha, aqui é o canal CDM Portação do Arte. Eu vim aqui fazer. Tirar aqui. When I was go with his wife to, uh, to his family or her family, whatever, like two hours away with the car, uh, he would put the watch like this, you know, on his wrist and he would go. What exactly am I trying to, what am I going to say to you? When I said, Bobby, Bobby, you know, I can't wait to put this watch. I can't put this watch, you know, I can't fucking wait. I'm losing my mind with you. I'm losing my mind with you. What the fuck am I saying here? Huh? What exactly am I saying here? Well, yeah, you do realize it's the same watch. And, uh, you know, year the stuff i'm talking about here you know this is what makes it interesting again he got this watch in 2012 and i'm not making mistake not even one fucking millimeter this is what makes the thriller this is what makes the whole thing fucking thriller maybe even sorry i made a mistake here about this watch he got you know when he got this watch he got this watch already he negotiated for this watch like in 2009, 2009, and I'm not sure whether he got one in 2010, 2011, because he already had this watch in his possession. So you know what? I'm going to give him 2011. He had the watch that you see right there in his hand. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the watch like this. I'm going to do 180 like that. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this. Look at it. It's the same watch. So he said to me, Bobby, Bobby, what the fuck am I going to do with you? I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy, Bobby. And uh, he did very, very good for me when he said that. And I said, and I said to him, what do you mean? What the fuck you say? What are you, what are you talking about? Because yeah. whenever I would come to him, whenever they would deliver me to him, he would show me that his watches and shit, you know. And I was like, what the fuck, what do you say that, that you go fucking crazy and this and what the fuck I mean? Uh, I didn't understand, you know, he was holding in his hand watch, you know. Watch, I fucking see that watch already, you know. And uh, I said, what the fuck, I mean, I said, can I wear this watch? And I said, fucking wear, of course, but you, you like it. I said, do you like it? Yeah, I like too, I like. So put, put it on your wrist, let's go, what the fuck, I mean, what? I'm not here to stop you from wearing the watch. I mean, wear your watch. It's very nice. You know, I said, I wish I could have one like this too. And uh, he didn't say this. He didn't say to me, this is watch does not exist. This is just a sample or something like this. At that time, not. But he did make sure that he would explain to me that he is only allowed to have the watches. He would make sure, in other words, with his wife, they would interact and it would be they would make like a little fight that you're not allowed to take the watch out of the house 
You understand me what I'm saying? <laughs> that means it was a sample watch, like you see a car before being in production, like a test model. You know, yeah, you understand? Yeah. And he was only allowed to have one indoors inside of the house, not outside. Contrary to the Chinese, which openly suggested to uh, to the Slovenian side, they would give them a signal. The Chinese manufacturer would tell them to, to, to Slovenian side the same thing. They also were not allowed. They were only allowed to wear this watch inside, inside in our house to drive me crazy. The watches that I demonstrated you earlier. Only they would try. Only they would allow them to to wear this watch with the idea to portray me as a schizophrenic. They anticipated I would go online and start talking about, oh my God, look, fuck, uh, you know, this and that. At this time and point, this is just a little a candy cake for me. It doesn't do me shit. It doesn't do me any harm, you know. But if I wouldn't have so many proofs like I have about MK Ultra, you know what I mean? Then it would be a different story. Then it would be a different story. This is just few. It's many, many, many right here, audio recordings and so on with confirmations from the people, meetings, prior meetings, my identifying people, buildings and so on. But this is nothing. Compared to what I still have, and I did not bother to put it on, and so on. Yeah. So it would be a different story. Eventually, they would even get it right. It would be a different story. But now, it's a different story. It's actually, the story is so fucking different. Believe it or not, it's so fucking different. The story is so different. It's so different, the story. That the British royals shit in their pants completely. Totally. So different the story is. The story is so fucking different. Do you believe this stuff? How the tables turned around. So, I guess they, they are going to vote. So, I'm going to give them a little push for the voting. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck you go vote in a situation like this. You know, bizarre. Hey, I don't have a time to fuck with this. They have posted some news. I have saw it. All right, I saw these news. Uh, and I don't have a time for it. All right. So what I'm going to do is. I'm just going to go like this. Because this is the issue that was involved in this case. Uh, let me do, do this like this. And uh, is it? It is. You're going to do this. And I'm going to take a sample of this. And this was supposed to be a little gift to me from Kate Middleton. Which news was involved in MK Ultra. To remind me that this preferably would be the watch that uh, she would want me uh, for me to have it. And they already started to write the conspiracy theories uh, 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 in the media about some kind of a fake photos or something, whatever. I did not even bother with it. But here, here it is. This is how different, this is now how different the situation is. This is how different the situation became over the course of the years, going from a schizophrenic literally into what you see here by British royals basically begging for life. Now that's, you have to admit, quite a different 
situation than from being in competition through which only you can gain a path into the psychiatric hospital, as was the case with me. Is what they basically commenced, right? This is how we started. So, I what I did right now, I have seen. I would not notice this stuff, but it is somewhere on the news and the media, wherever it is, they, they pointed me this stuff out. And I'm not going to go and bother with this. I'm not going to go fucking bother with this stuff. Okay, maybe I will. The news literally was released uh, just the way you see it, 18 hours ago, 10 hours ago, one day ago. Uh, supposedly, it was a Kate Middleton uh, that even went ahead and edited the photo. So, there you go. Uh, this kind of stuff, showing the clothing, I have no idea what they're even talking about. By the way, I don't read this kind of stuff. I am really, really, really angry about this stuff. Because you can really, really, really not go. You cannot really go. You can't go from throwing somebody into the psychiatric hospital with the idea to kill them. To his hero basically saving him after he saved himself you understand you can't fucking go and do that you cannot go and switch the roles here you will not in this in your lifetime nobody from your family will go and switch these roles it's a totally wrong role i'm gonna say you have assigned to yourself in this case you can't go you can't go from shit to a hero when you are proven stuff like this you you cannot go like this it does not work like this so i'm sure you understand where exactly i got an idea about this issue this is not going to be difficult to point you out and i would report this stuff already earlier i would talk about this stuff but the thing about it is i'm so angry about it that from these people, if I had to, it would be like I lost something in the world, whatever, that I would save myself life or whatever. I would not fucking accept from these people a fucking glass of water. Like if I was like fucking dying from the thirst or whatever. You understand me what I'm trying to say? From these people, from these people, I would not accept apology, absolutely anything from these people other than sentence them to death through the prison so that's why i would not even go and bother myself report anything on issues like this even that they concern very much this case it doesn't matter what the fuck these people think it really doesn't matter what matters is this this stuff here this and this is why i did this you know, i suffered Tremendously when I did these videos, but I did it. I did it. I did it. When I finish all this stuff, then I'm going to tell you basically how I did this stuff. It was a little bit far more difficult than what you think. When I finish it off, I'm going to tell you basically how I did this stuff. Then you're going to know the whole thing. What exactly what they did to me. You don't need to know yet everything. So this watch is here is what the police investigator wanted to wear. But because of me, opposed to this watch is here, they eventually regarded them as a shit. You know? The good-looking watches they wanted to wear, and they want to get them free. This here, they would not want. This, they wear literally because of the evil, because of the hatred for me. Because I had to see myself when seeing this watch is literally in a torture, is what they demanded from me. You know what? Fuck this. I will go, and I will purchase this fucking watches anyway. Because, yes... I like the idea about 
keeping this as a souvenir, as a memory. And, and uh, you know, I, I think I'm not going to be healthy unless I really purchase these watches anyways. I have to have this as a memory. I will buy some watch because I, I have to have this as a memory. Something maybe even that that I'm going to use, maybe that people can see themselves in me. So uh, they are high quality watches. I'm going to say, if you fill them with oil, you can go a thousand more meters under the water, and they will, they will work to you. They are Japanese movement watches. They are very good watches. Uh, the neighbors have used this watch for diving, actually, without, I believe, even placing any kind of oil in it or whatever. Okay? So, they're not bad. If you like diving, if you like that kind of stuff, if you like, you know, I kind of figure out that I, would, I should have watch 24-7 on me, with me all the time. But the truth is that on a hot summer day, when you don't need to put the sleeve over the watch... Uh, and or you go swimming out there, you go for something you can you can you can sure you can wear otherwise very thick watch. Yeah. So this was a personal recommendation from uh, Princess uh, Kate Middleton. Now, when I look for how much money these people have swindled me on YouTube, through daily motions, through all these video channels, the blogs block me from any kind of revenue not only from the right to employment in what was further used to hospitalize me, block me even video view counters, I don't think I would want to see this fucking watch, regardless of how beautiful, on my wrist. I mean, and I'm sure you understand the issue behind it. These people make it fucking ugly. These people make everything. These people, for me, in my eyes, the way it is, these people make the world ugly in my eyes. When I see these people, the world is fucking ugly. Anything I see through them is the same shit as I saw psychiatrists Peter Kopp or police that were doing this stuff, whom they have hired to do this stuff to me. So, for me personally, these people make the world ugly. And I will not rest until I put this that I don't express myself further behind bars because they are the biggest threat to society and to the world. They trashed the world. They destroyed my life. They wiped my life off and they trashed the world. And I don't give a fuck about who the British are going to vote. Go fucking vote. Do it. It's like Joseph Stalin said. It doesn't matter who you vote for. What matters is that you vote. Go vote. So vote. So that you get to keep your democracy. And when it comes to this video, I don't have absolutely anything else I would, I would say. Um, these are the instances that, that were involved in it. They were trying to fuck me. Uh, present me, literally make me present myself to the world as schizophrenic, making statements about the products that do not even exist. Uh, police officers, while they hated certain watches, they wanted other watches also for free. And I remember that these watches, when they wanted for free, the Chinese would not give them for free. They told them, for this one, you have to give me so much and so much. For the Slovenian police, even the fucking wholesale price, like really wholesale price, was too much to pay for. Even the stuff they get from the Chinese, the samples and stuff like this, for free. You know, and they would allow them to wear watches before they would be released to look exclusive and more interesting and gather attention, like commercial, you know, that kind of stuff. Ah, I've seen it all. I tested on my skin and everything. What the fuck you need to know about watches? That's all there is for this video. 
I, I had to make this stuff because it, it will go through the court. I want this to be implemented through the court. The sale is very important for me. I have recorded. And uh, oh, what the fuck? Maybe I'll go and, and buy myself watch or two maybe.